The leopard gene is one of my favorite ball python genes to work with, but there is a bit of confusion about this mutation. Hopefully I can shed some light on the situation. In 2002, we obtained a piebald male that sired two clutches of eggs in 2005. Out of the 14 offspring, seven were visual leopards. With a 50% ratio, we knew we were working with a new dominant gene. The name leopard was assigned to this gene because of the leopard yellow color that was created when the leopard pastel and leopard spiders were produced in 2005. In 2009, we produced six clutches of leopard to leopard for a total of 26 offspring. Out of the 26 offspring, 21 were leopards. There was no visual superform produced. Due to that fact, we are considering the leopard gene to be a dominant, not co-dominant gene. The one question we had yet to answer was, can the leopard gene be isolated from the piebald gene, or are all leopards 100% het piebalds? If the leopard gene cannot be separated from the piebald gene, that would make all super leopards piebalds as well. We bred a male leopard pastel piebald that was produced from a leopard to leopard breeding for the last three years, and all of the offspring have been leopards. We are confident that he is a homozygous leopard or super leopard. This also strengthened our theory that the leopard gene could not be separated from the piebald gene, making all homozygous leopards piebalds as well. We were wrong. In 2013, we bred a spider piebald from a leopard to leopard breeding, theorizing it was a super leopard. Out of 23 eggs, none of the offspring were leopard. We are now convinced that the leopard gene and the piebald gene can be separated. The upside to this is that leopards het piebald are now more valuable. However, the downside is the only way to determine a super leopard from a leopard and a leopard to leopard clutch is to raise it and breed it. So all leopards from leopard to leopard clutches must be labeled possible super leopards until proven. The most often asked question about the leopard gene is can you visually distinguish between a piebald and a leopard piebald? The simple answer is no. The only way I will sell a leopard piebald is if it was produced from a super leopard or is proven through breeding. What I have observed in some of our leopard piebalds is a large amount of black pigment outlining the patterned area of the animal. However, I have had leopard piebalds that had no excess black pigment. Once you have added the pastel into the equation, you can visually see the leopard piebalds because of the aberrant head pattern that is created. Mixing the pastel into the leopard tends to create some of the most aberrant pattern ball pythons we've ever seen. We have produced two different phases of the leopard lesser pastel, the aberrant phase and the stripe phase. We're not sure what the difference between the two is, if any, but we do have some theories. Hopefully future breedings will give us the answers. Not only can I wait to see what new leopard combos we produce this year, but I'm excited to see what everyone else creates as well. If you have any questions about the leopard gene or anything else we can help you with, please contact us at Graziani Reptiles.